in the presidential election in 2011, Dr. Tan Cheng Bok, Tan Ji Se, and I contested as candidates who are independent of the ruling government. Together, we received 64.8% of the total votes. Today we are here as comrades who share a common vision, that is, to have an independent president. So I'm here in my personal capacity as a PE2011 candidate because Singaporeans want transparency and also accountability. Having another establishment endorsed candidate as president will not provide this. I'm sad that a highly qualified candidate, for example, like George, was not eligible. Now, why? Because they raised the bar for private candidates by increasing the shareholders' equity from one equity five times to 500. During our time, it was 100 million, but then they raised it up to 500 million. Now, the circle of people who qualify gets shrunk. And so it becomes smaller, harder to get people. So when people like George, who's prepared to come forward, also get disqualified, who else will want to come forward? Now, the interesting thing is there's no equivalent condition for the other side, the public sector side. If you're a chief justice, you can be. If you're a speaker, you can be. And this is, this is not a healthy trend for Singapore. That means you will always get people from the establishment side and not from the public sector. I'm very worried about the integrity of the public service in the light of recent public scandals. You know, so many things happen and it involves how civil servants relate with ministers. And I think as a civil servant myself before, it, it is not easy for a civil servant to relate to a minister if he thinks that something is just not right. All right? It is... Uh, or there are some grey areas. So how should I react? How should I respond? He asked for information. Is it for the public interest or is it for his personal interest? So I think rules must be set, set. Clear rules must be set for this. And it is important because, you know, unlike the British Civil Service, which is used to changes of government all the time, Singapore is not used to changes of government. We have the same government for the past 64 years. So it's like an institution and the distinction between civil service and government becomes blurred. So I think we need clear guidelines and I hope to be able to help Kin Lian in this when he becomes president. As for safeguarding of reserves, I think this is an area I can contribute to and I will do my best because I know the workings of government. I was an economist in, in government. I was with the Ministry of Trade and Industry. I interface with MAS all the time uh, when I was there. So I know, I know uh, about these reserves. Are the political parties funding my uh, campaign? The answer is no, uh, they are not. And I look upon the GC and Chibok as people coming forward in their personal capacity because they, uh, they feel very strongly uh, that the country needs an independent uh, president and they are supporting me in that capacity. I always worry that there will be a lot of gutter politics. Gutter politics have been the issues very defamatory to the individual he's spending. And uh, 
if we talk about a dignified campaign, it's best we avoid all this. And the next day, I go back to my fundamental principle. Focus on what the presidential election is about. Very simple. Actually, the presidential election, not many things. But then you got to make sure that these people qualify. And they have qualified because we have to go through a stringent process. And they have been given certificate of, uh, of the ability financially. They have also been given a certificate to show that the character is of good standing. So, so, I'm, so when people start to do all that, I say you must refer. If he's got this, this is, this is an approval stamp by the, uh, by, the, by the committee in charge. So I think what else can be said? Then you better question the authorities who approve the candidates. 